Hello, what have we here? Hello everybody and welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront Hero Showcase video. In this video we're taking a look at Lando Calrissian. Lando was added in the Best Bin Expansion Pack, but before we take an in-depth look at Lando, let's take a look at his emotes. This deal is getting worse all the time. Lando is equipped with the X8 Knight Sniper Blaster Pistol, which has a thermal vision feature that is activated by aiming down the sights. Like all other heroes and villains in Star Wars Battlefront, Lando has three abilities, the first of which is called Power Blast, and this activates a power bar that when charged allows Lando to deal increasing amounts of damage up to six times the normal amount. This ability has a slight homing aspect to it, and it can be used to snipe from across the map. A good tip when using this ability is to use the low power multipliers to take out stormtroopers in one shot, then charge up for a very high damage shot on the villains. Lando's second ability is called Shocking Trap. Lando disappears from the enemy radar and drops a trap that appears to the enemy as a power up or hero token. If an enemy attempts to collect it, they are shocked, and if they cannot escape the shock in time, they die. Lando's trap can be spotted as his spins counterclockwise and standard power-ups in the game spin clockwise. This is more difficult to escape than the shocking grenade in the game as this one requires a lot more mashing of the buttons. A good tip when using this ability is to remember that enemies can spot it, so you might want to place it, if not in an obvious place, but like around a corner, so when they run by the corner instead of knowing it's there, they'll be shocked by it by surprise instead. Lando's third and final ability is called System Disruption. This produces a shockwave around Lando, and en enemies and villains caught in the wave have their abilities and star cards put on cooldown and their weapons overheat. This won't work with heroes like Darth Vader or Emperor Palpatine because they have force-based abilities and no blasters. Heroes with blasters will have a faster cooldown time, and this ability is based off the Disruption Star Card, which was released in the Bespin expansion pack as well. A good tip when using this ability is that the cooldown of this power is fairly long, so make sure you choose your time well, because this can completely turn the tide of an encounter and overheat a group of stormtroopers and save your life. Lando's special trait is called Fortune Trigger, which increases his chance of a critical hit as his trait goes up by killing enemy heroes and regular troops. So the more damage you do or the more kills you get, the more chance you have of getting a critical hit, which is basically an explosive shot that comes out of Lando's gun. It's usually a one hit kill or very, it does a great amount of damage. So the more kills you get, the higher chance you have at the very highest, I believe you have a 50% chance. That's really good odds, which is something that Lando as a character deals with a lot is odds. So it's a very fitting trait for him. So as a quick summary on his abilities, he has Power Blast, which increases the amount of damage his weapon does up to six times the normal amount. He has Shocking Trap, which drops a trap on the ground that looks like a power up for the enemies, and if they get near it, they will get shocked and die. And he has System Disruption, with which disrupts all guns and abilities of the enemies around him. So as a summary, remember when using Lando, he is of course very skilled with his blaster and a lot of his abilities revolve around doing a lot of damage with his blaster, but he's also very useful in disabling the enemy team and finishing them off with his blaster. So as a group, you can do a shocking trap and disable the enemy, you can disrupt them, and your entire team can catch the enemy off guard with you as Lando providing strategic support. So remember to always be supportive when playing as Lando, but don't t be too afraid to rush into battle as the more damage you do, the more damage you will dish out. So it's a counteracting thing. Lando is very effective, and I hope this video helped you learn how to use him just a little bit better. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If it helped you at all, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It is all greatly appreciated. And I will be doing one of these videos for all the other heroes and villains, as I have, as I have mentioned before. Dengar is next. So until the next video, may the force be with you.